data handling, drawing a joint bar graph. Compare the marks of Manisha and Anita with the help of a bar graph. To compare the marks in each subject, it's best to have a joint bar graph where one bar is for Manisha and one bar is for Anita. We can have this set for every subject. So, we draw the x-axis, y-axis and mark the origin. What do we take on the y-axis? The marks. So, the subject names are on the x-axis. Now, we can take suitable distance and mark 5 points on the x-axis for the 5 different subjects. English, Hindi, Math, Science, Social Science. Now comes the most important task of drawing a graph. Choosing the scale for the y-axis. We are good at mathematics. So, it's not a big deal for us, is it? Let's do that. Compare the marks of Manisha and Anita with the help of a bar graph. Look at the marks. What are the highest and lowest marks? Highest marks are 95, lowest marks are 58. We have all kinds of marks in that range. They are not particularly multiples of any number. So what do we do? On the graph paper, 1 cm has 10 divisions. So each can be 1 mark. So we can say that on the y-axis, 1 cm is equal to 10 marks. Now, we can plot all the marks using the smaller squares as a guide too. So that's our scale. Now, the next task is to find out the height of each bar. Let's plot the bars for English. For Manisha, the bar height will be 68 divided by 10 is equal to 6.8 centimeters. For Anita, the bar height will be 80 divided by 10 is equal to 8 centimeters. Now choose the kind of bars. Let's go with an outline bar for Manisha and a dotted bar for Anita. We'll have to write that on the side so that the readers of the graph know what is what. Where should we write it? Somewhere near the scale. So let's write it here. Now, we have to actually draw the bars. Let's draw Manisha first. We take 6.8 centimeters and a width that seems okay. Then just draw the bar and leave it as it is. Then we'll draw Anita. We have to take 8 centimeters and the same width as we took for Manisha. Then we'll draw the bar and fill it up with dots. So our first entry is done. Let's plot the bars for Hindi. For Manisha, the bar height will be 60 divided by 10 is equal to 6 centimeters. For Anita, the bar height will be 75 divided by 10 is equal to 7.5 centimeters. We draw Manisha first. We take 6 centimeters and the same width as the first bar. Then just draw the bar and leave it as it is. Then we'll draw Anita. We have to take 7.5 centimeters and the same bar width. Then we'll draw the bar and fill it up with dots. So our second entry is done. You can plot the bars for all other subjects now. Remember, whatever width you decide for the very first bar is the width that will remain for all the bars. The height will keep changing according to your data. So draw the bar and you are ready to compare. Compare the activities of boys and girls in school with a bar graph. You know everything else already. Let's just discuss the scale to be taken on the y-axis and you can draw this graph easily. Look at the data. The highest value is 40 and the lowest is 15. All of the values are also multiples of 5. What if you take 1 cm is equal to 5 students? For the highest bar, you will need 40 divided by 5 is equal to 8 cm. That seems okay. So, you can just take that scale and draw the joint bar graph.
कंपेयर द कार प्रोडक्शन ऑफ कंपनी ए एंड कंपनी बी विद अ बार ग्राफ वॉट विल यू टेक ऑन द एक्स एक्सिस द इयर्स वॉट विल यू टेक ऑन द वाई एक्सिस कार्स प्रोड्यूस्ड लेट्स डिस्कस द स्केल टू बी टेकन ऑन द वाई एक्सिस एंड यू कैन ड्रॉ दिस ग्राफ इजिली लुक एट द डेटा द हाइएस्ट वैल्यू इज टेन थाउजेंड एंड द लोएस्ट इज सिक्स थाउजेंड All of the values are also multiples of thousand. What if you take one centimeter is equal to one thousand cars? For the highest bar, you will need ten thousand divided by thousand is equal to ten centimeters. That seems okay. So you can just take that scale and draw the joint bar graph. Compare the number of boys and girls in different schools with a bar graph. What will you take on the x-axis? The schools. What will you take on the y-axis? Number of students. Let's just discuss the scale to be taken on the y-axis, and you can draw this graph easily. Look at the data. The highest value is nine hundred, and the lowest is one hundred and ten. All the values are also multiples of hundred except one, but that is hundred and ten. So it's a multiple of ten. What if you take one centimeter is equal to hundred students? For the highest bar, you will need nine hundred divided by hundred is equal to nine centimeter. That seems okay. For the one hundred and ten students bar, we will need one hundred and ten divided by hundred. Is equal to one point one centimeters, which is okay too. So you can just take that scale and draw the joint bar graph. Did you understand how to draw a joint bar graph? Yes.